Hello, my name's Tom Palmer and I'm a children's author. Um, I, write a, I write football books and rugby books. Um, this is one of my rugby books, Combat Zone. Um, it's part of a series with two other books which are just sort of above my head. Um, and I'm running this um, sort of YouTube channel during the Rugby World Cup called Read Rugby. Um, just to talk about different rugby things um, that you can read, newspapers, magazines and books, and not just my books. Um, so, the first book I'm going to feature on Read Rugby is the Rugby World Cup Activity Book. Um, if you've got children or um, people in your family who are into rugby um, and you want a really good activity book to get them um, reading and taking on challenges and learning out a bit about the game then this could be the book for you and um, it's published by who's it published by Carlton Books um, and I did this with my daughter I went to the um, the England match the England Ireland match at the weekend um, and um, we did the activity book um, on the way in fact this is another thing that you could read if you go to one of the matches during the Rugby World Cup you could read the match day programmes um, which are full of interviews and photographs about players um, and events and stuff like that. Right, so the highlights of this, the rugby activity book, are things like there's a map of the country and the stadiums, so you've got to find the stadiums, a bit of geography, um, that was quite good. There's also stuff about player positions, learn where the player positions are um, and put them in the right place. Um, I particularly liked there were quizzes about the laws of the game so it's reading but in a sort of a challenging way and I'm happy to say me and my daughter got 10 out of 10 um, what else is there there's there's just lots of really good stuff there's sort of board games and um, there's crosswords which we haven't done yet um, and all sorts of stuff and most importantly probably um, everybody likes stickers including adults so I definitely recommend them. There's loads of stuff in this book. Um, there's a companion volume which I've left over there, so I'll just go and get it for you. Um, there's also this um, fact file, which is like a fact file um, of the teams that are playing. And um, so we've got there Chris Robshaw, George North on the cover, and other players. Um, and it's one of those one of those books with lots of information about all the teams so this is about wrong way, Australia and you can find out about all the teams playing the key players to look out for and the, these are written really well in sort of um, easy to read chunks um, certainly this is the kind of thing I would have liked when I was young I didn't like reading when I was young until my mum got me sort of football books and rugby books which were sort of written in a magazine style so it wasn't as intimidating to be honest as reading um, a whole book although um, my books are written um, hopefully to appeal to all sorts of readers um, but I would have if you'd have given me for instance if you'd have given me a book like this when I was young with like lots of hard sort of difficult long paragraphs and text um, I might have I might have struggled with that so I, that's why I like books that are designed really well with lots of photography um, and short chunks of text so they're my first tips there's another um, book for adults as well the official tournament guide um, which is also published by Carlton Books I don't work for them I just work for myself um, but I would say if you want a guide to the tournament this is a book that was printed a couple of months ago so a lot of the facts in it are out of date so if I was getting a guide now I'd go to the magazine racks um, and get one of the magazines which have only been printed for a week or two so they may be more up to date with um, better information in them, but that's um, some people like an official guide, and of course it is a very nice um, guide. Anyway, thank you very much. Um, I'll be doing loads more of these videos um, with the Read Rugby hashtag attached to them. Um, if you know anyone who's into rugby, um, check out the Read Rugby hashtag, and then um, I'm doing blogs and also um, there's loads of activities um, for schools and libraries and families and um, free stories free um, sort of activities to do with reading and writing that you can do as well if you just check out the read rugby ha hashtag you'll find them and um, this is and um, this is sort of funded partially by um, the RFU who are sort of helping me to promote literacy 
um, through the Rugby World Cup. Anyway, enjoy the Rugby World Cup and thank you very much for listening.